like beautiful we can't say beautiful and beautiful are and the most beautiful beautifulest we always use beautiful much more beautiful and much beautiful so in page number 38 there is a table which is given here and you have to see this and learn how to form degrees the comparative and superlative degrees and the exercise which is given in page number 38 and 39 and 40 and also you have to do it by yourself with the help of this video and with the help of your parents guardians and other ones the writing should be neat and clean and cursing also we will meet again in our next class with another chapter and other topic till the complete your work bye bye thank you and take care morning friends welcome to the new group of students online classes students this is your math class and we are doing chapter 4 and the chapter name is fraction okay friends so today we will start our exercise exercise 4l so students take out your book and open page number 67 
Look. The type of the questions are same. The cost of one liter of milk is six four two upon five. Cost of one liter. Cost of one liter milk is equal to six over two upon five rupees. Six over two upon five rupees. So we change into in proper fraction six five five six one thirty thirty plus two thirty two upon five rupees. The cost of one liter milk is equal to thirty two point five rupees. Next, we have to find find the cost of five liters of milk. Then, cost of five liters of milk is equal to thirty two point five multiplied by Five. Thirty-two point five multiplied by five. So, a fraction and a whole number. So first we multiply the numerator by whole number, and we write denominator. So students, the cost of five liters of milk is equal to thirty-two rupees. The cost of five liters of milk. Is equal to thirty-two rupees. Understood? Next, the cost of one liter of cloth is twenty-five whole one upon five. What is the cost of five whole five upon nine liters of cloth? Okay. Look. Read the question. Cost of one liter of cloth is cost of one liter cloth is twenty five whole one upon five twenty five whole one upon five. Then we have to find the cost of five whole five upon nine liters. Cost of sorry. First we change this mixed fraction into improper fraction. Twenty five multiplied by five is equal to one twenty five. One twenty five plus one one twenty six upon five rupees. So the cost of one meter clock is equal to one twenty six upon five rupees. Understood? So we have to find. The cost of five hundred five one nine meters of cloth. The cost of five hundred five one nine meter cloth is equal to one twenty six upon five multiplied by. But we change this mixed fraction into improper fraction. Nine by ten. Forty five plus five, fifty upon nine. We have two fractions. We have two fractions and multiply these two fractions to first the product of the numerators upon the product of the denominators. Five times a fifty. Nine times a nine. Three. Oh, okay. So the answer is one forty. The cost of five one five upon nine meter cloth is equal to one forty rupees. One forty rupees. Nine forty. Forty nine ja. One twenty six. So the cost of five one five upon nine meter cloth is equal to one forty. Sorry, God.
140 rupees. Understood? Next question: A postman walks 5.7 km in a day. How much distance will he cover in 4.1 upon 2 days? So the student is question number 4 and question number 5. And question number 3. Both the questions are same. Okay. So now we come to our next question, question number 6. Question number 6, read the question. Read the question. Find the perimeter of a square whose each side is 7.1 upon 8 meter. Find the perimeter of a square whose each side is 7 wood 1 upon 8 meters. Okay, sir? So, as you know, we know the formula of perimeter of a square. The perimeter of a square is equal to distance. As we know, the perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into sin. The perimeter of the square is equal to 4 into sin. And the perimeter of the square is equal to 4 into sin. And uh, the area of the square, the area of a square is equal to sin into We have learned this formula in our previous class, okay, class 4. So, find the perimeter of a square root, each side is 7 mole, 1 upon 8 meter, okay. Side is given and we have to find the perimeter. So, side of a square is equal to side of a square is equal to side of our square is equal to 7 whole 1 upon 8 meters ok and now find the perimeter of the square perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side so first we change this mixed fraction into improper fraction 8 7 56 plus 1 7 So the perimeter of the square is equal to 4 into side 4 into 57 upon 8. 4 into 57 upon 8. We have a fraction and a whole number. 57 upon 8. 4 to the 8. 57 upon 2 is equal to 28 whole 1 upon 2. 28 whole 1 upon 2. So the perimeter of a square is equal to 28 whole 1 upon 2 meter. Understood? 28 whole 1 upon 2 meter. Next, question number 7. Question number 7. Each side of a square field is 4 whole 2 upon 7 meter. Find the Find its area. Find its area. Okay. So, students, read question again. Each side of a square. So, side of a square is a control. Side of a square is equal to 4 volt to upon 7 meter. 4 volt to upon 7 meter. This is equal to 7 for them, 28 plus 2, 20 upon 7 meter. Okay. And we have to find the, uh, the area of a square. So, the area of a square is equal to the formula area of the square is going to side into side side into 
साइन शो साइन इज गिवन थर्टी अपॉन सेवन मीटर थर्टी अपॉन सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाई थर्टी अपॉन सेवन थर्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाई थर्टी अपॉन सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाई सेवन ओके थर्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाई थर्टी नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन हंड्रेड अपॉन सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाई सेवन फोर्टी नाइन थर्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाई थर्टी इज इक्वल टू नाइन हंड्रेड एंड सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाई सेवन इक्वल टू फोर्टी नाइन एंड मिक्स फॉर्म ऑफ दिस फ्रैक्शन इज इक्वल टू एटीन होल एटीन अपॉन फोर्टी नाइन एटीन होल एटीन अपॉन फोर्टी नाइन एंड द यूनिट इज यूनिट मीटर स्क्वायर द यूनिट ऑफ एरिया इज मीटर स्क्वायर ओके सो क्वेश्चन नंबर एट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इज सेम एज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू और थ्री सो स्टूडेंट्स यूर एक्सरसाइज फोर एल इज फ्रिज एंड इट्स इन फॉर टूडे सो विल स्टार्ट अवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इन अवर नेक्स्ट क्लास ओके सो राइट ऑन योर होमवर्क स्टूडेंट्स योर होमवर्क इज कंप्लीट एक्सरसाइज कंप्लीट एक्सरसाइज फोर एल ओके थैंक यू
of following questions. The first question is there. When were the first recorded Olympics in? Come on, the answer is the following questions. Thank you. 
FIFA World Cup kit. Answer the following questions. Answer the following questions. Bye. 
Thank you. 
Welcome to your art class. Today we are going to draw something. So, first of all, take out your drawing notebook. Make a border from all four sides and put the date and class work. Now, draw a fruit. Here, I am going to draw a mango. And you can draw any picture of any fruit. Alright? So let's start. Draw a line like this. Then draw a curve like this over here. Then
then draw a leaf Now, write the topic's name. This is your class work. I hope you all have learned that how to draw a picture of mango. And in your homework, you have to color this picture. And you can use sketch color or watercolor, but don't use crayon or pencil colors. And you can draw up any picture of any fruit. Thank you students for attending this class.